Welcome to Job Genius Job Profiles, a career exploration series brought to you by Express Employment Professionals. The job profile videos within Job Genius feature in demand occupations that can put you on the path to career success. No matter what level of education you decide to complete, there are tons of choices for jobs that offer good pay and a bright future. All of the jobs that we'll explore today are within your reach by earning a bachelor's degree. So let's dive right in and take a look at some of the most in-demand careers with a bright outlook that are projected to grow rapidly and have a large number of openings in the years to come. No doubt about it, tech jobs are at the top of the list when it comes to a bright outlook for your future. The U.S. Department of Labor and the Canadian Job Bank predict these tech jobs will have tens of thousands, even hundreds of thousands of job openings in the years to come. That means great opportunity and good pay. There's never been a better time to be a software developer. Think about it. Computers touch every part of our lives, in our cars, at home, at work, pretty much everywhere. Software developers create and modify computer software. They may write the instructions that control robots on an assembly line or develop software for gaming systems. Developers work with existing software to correct problems or connect to new hardware. They may also analyze user and system requirements to determine network and equipment design needs. In addition to computer skills like programming and writing software, you'll need good communication skills too. Software developers need to be good team players since you'll likely find yourself on a team that includes analysts, engineers, and programmers. Software developers need good deductive reasoning and problem-solving skills. You also need the ability to anticipate problems and determine strategies to prevent them. To prepare for a career as a software developer, you need to have a knack for numbers. So if you're still in high school or have access to free math courses, take as many as you can. Same goes for computer coding and programming classes too. And take it a step further by looking for programming and coding groups, meetups in your area. The next step to becoming a software developer begins by enrolling in a computer science degree program. Software developers are in high demand in both the US and in Canada. In the States, an entry-level software developer can expect to earn more than $64,000 per year. In Canada, the average annual starting salary is right around $61,000. A computer science degree can also be your ticket to other in-demand careers. One of those hot jobs is information security analyst. Internet security is a huge issue these days. Protecting data from hackers is a prime concern for individuals, companies, and the government. And that means there's a growing need for information security analysts who can stay one step ahead of the threat. An information security analyst plans and implements cybersecurity measures to protect computer networks and secure digital information. You'll work to encrypt data transmissions, build firewalls to protect confidential information, as well as fend off threats like computer viruses and worms. You'll also develop plans to help protect computer files against unauthorized or accidental modification or destruction. To be a good information security analyst, you'll need strong critical thinking skills and complex problem-solving skills. You'll also have to be able to handle the stress that comes with the responsibility of protecting others' information. The position of an IT security manager is going to be one that continues to grow. More technology, more people using technologies, more devices, and just saw a recent article um, that, that stated that right now there is a 0% unemployment rate for good security people. And the beautiful thing about IT is it's a constant moving train. So technologies last five to seven years. So if you want to get in the game, find the newest technology, get on it, learn it, become an expert, and catch the next train. It fits my, my personality. It, it keeps moving, it's interesting, it's challenging. Um, and to some degree, people look at you as, um, you know, you, you have some secret or some magical thing, right? Because you can get these boxes to do things. Um, so it's been a fun career. It's one that I've enjoyed and one I would choose to do over again. Information security analysts are in high demand, both in the U.S. and Canada. In the States, the average starting salary is more than $64,000 per year. In Canada, the median salary is around $53,000. You can also use a computer science degree to get into another in-demand career, web developer. 
Web developers design and create websites and web content using authoring languages, content creation tools, and digital media. You may compose or create web page content or guide and direct other content producers. You'll also write computer programs for a variety of purposes, as well as identify and fix problems that arise from time to time. In addition to keeping current with evolving technology, you'll need to be extremely detail-oriented, have good time management skills, and analyze the pros and cons of different ways to solve a problem. And of course, you have to be a good communicator. The average entry-level salary for a web developer is a little more than $53,000 per year. Not too shabby. And there's plenty of room to grow, so keep learning new technologies. Staying on top of emerging software will pay off as new opportunities arise. Careers involving an engineering degree are always a good move, but there are some types of engineering careers that are really blowing up. Imagine harnessing the amazing power of the sun and using it to generate heat and electricity. That's exactly what a solar energy systems engineer does. Solar energy systems engineers design solar thermal systems for residential and commercial buildings. They also oversee the installation of solar energy systems to ensure it's done properly. You'll help homes and businesses become energy independent and reduce their carbon footprint. To pursue a career as a solar energy systems engineer, you'll want to study chemistry, physics, math, and computer science in high school. Most solar engineers get their start by earning a bachelor's degree in architectural engineering. Some of the key traits of a solar energy systems engineer include good mechanical abilities such as using tools and reading gauges and meters, being detail-oriented, having strong communication and teamwork skills, and good deductive reasoning abilities. And as far as the pay goes, well, the outlook in that area is sunny too. The average annual starting salary for a solar energy systems engineer is right around $64,000. And that's not the only engineering job with a bright outlook. Civil engineers help plan and design things like dams that provide hydroelectric power, create designs for earthquake-resistant high-rise buildings, design bridges that combine beauty and function, and create water treatment facilities to help preserve one of our most precious natural resources. And they bring home a pretty good paycheck. The annual average entry-level salary for a civil engineer is more than $58,000. Mechanical engineers are in high demand, both in the U.S. and in Canada. Mechanical engineers help design things like state-of-the-art prosthetic limbs, surgical robots that operate with remarkable precision, as well as the everyday things that we take for granted, like the ergonomic chair that you sit in or your favorite video game controller. In the U.S. and Canada, the median beginning annual salary for a mechanical engineer is right around $64,000. There's another emergent engineering field that's really taking off, mechatronics engineering. Mechatronics engineers basically create and improve automated systems. As automation continues to play a bigger and bigger part of our lives, we'll have a greater need for the specialized field. Think of it as a blend of mechanical, computer, and electrical engineering. Robotic systems are often comprised of these three engineering niches. You may find a job in an automated factory managing and maintaining a robotic array, working on self-driving car technology, helping design and build a drone delivery system, or working in nanotechnology to develop tiny robots that can help clean up environmental disasters. Most mechatronics engineers get their start by earning a bachelor's degree in geophysical engineering or engineering physics. Along with working on the leading edge of technology, you'll earn a good living. On average, an entry-level mechatronics engineer earns more than $64,000 per year. Well, there's one more growing tech field to tell you about, and that is a computer systems analyst. If you enjoy staying on top of the latest technology and helping people find a better way of doing things, then a computer systems analyst could be the right fit for you. Picture yourself helping design a wireless payment system that lets people make purchases anywhere with their smartphone. Or helping a community upgrade their computer systems to help emergency crews respond quicker and save lives or work with a social media company to choose the best software and hardware that keeps up with millions of posts every hour. 
A computer systems analyst needs good problem solving and organizational skills, an analytical and inquisitive mindset, and must be eager to keep a finger on the pulse of technological and consumer trends. The vast majority of computer systems analysts get their start by earning a bachelor's degree in information technology or computer systems networking and telecommunications. An entry-level computer systems analyst earns on average more than $58,000 per year. Well, there's another hot job that requires an analytical mind, but it doesn't focus specifically on computers. Instead, it involves analyzing the most complex system known to mankind, the human mind. If that sounds intriguing to you, you might want to consider becoming a search engine marketing specialist. A search engine marketing specialist helps businesses increase their rankings on search engines. You may also assist in planning strategies and goals for search optimization results. A search engine marketing specialist is also in charge of auditing content and content delivery. Analyzing data and generating detailed reports that impact marketing efforts. Keeping up to date with the latest trends and concepts in search engine marketing is important. You may also help create and conduct online surveys and opinion polls or develop questionnaires. To be a successful search engine marketing specialist, you must have excellent communication skills. You should have good critical thinking skills to weigh the pros and cons of various solutions to a problem. Having a big picture personality will also help you see how multiple factors go into determining an outcome. Most search engine marketing specialists have a degree in marketing or marketing management. To uh, sum up the role of a search engine marketing specialist, uh, I'd say that we handle ads that appear when you Google something or, you know, when you look at a product on a website and you see an ad for it two weeks down the road. That's, that's us. The first step I would tell anybody uh, is, to becoming a search engine marketer is once you have your degree, become certified in whichever search engine. Uh, and either hop into an internship or begin applying for jobs because that certification is, is really the first step that you want to take. So if you're a search engine marketer, you could be working in a variety of different environments. You could be working at an agency setting uh, or you could be working in-house at a corporation. Uh, lots of different companies have marketing departments with somebody similar to me uh, within that department. My favorite aspect of the job is the competitive and strategic nature of the job. There's there's somebody out there just like you that's competing against you, showing their ad a little bit higher or earning more clicks from a searcher. Uh, so it's just, there's a lot of competition involved, which is something I really enjoy. The average yearly salary for a search engine marketing specialist is nearly $46,000. Definitely a career worth checking out especially since the U.S. Department of Labor predicts more than 150,000 new job openings in the years ahead. There's one more hot job to let you in on. If you're a numbers person, then a career as a statistician may be right for you. Statisticians work in just about every industry, from engineering to medicine, food production to education, and more. You'll use the power of math and probability to solve complex problems, like searching for treatments for disease, understanding marine animal migration patterns, or helping to plan efficient recycling programs, just to name a few. Statisticians are curious, detail-oriented people who can find patterns and relationships hidden in mountains of data. They have good communication skills, strong attention to detail, and have solid deductive reasoning skills. Because statisticians deal heavily in numbers, you'll want to pursue a mathematics degree in college. Out in the workforce, an entry-level statistician earns around $66,000 per year. Job growth for statisticians is projected to be much faster than average, with more than 15,000 openings in the coming years. Well, I hope we've given you a little to think about as you consider your next step. All of the careers we touched on today are predicted to grow rapidly in the next few years and have a large number of openings. And this is just the tip of the iceberg. There are hundreds and hundreds of career possibilities out there. That may sound a bit overwhelming, but the good news is that there are plenty of resources out there to help you decide which career is right for you. In the US, check out mynextmove.org, sponsored by the US Department of Labor. They have tons of tools to help you explore the myriad of possibilities out there for you. In Canada, go to jobbank.gc.ca. You can search career options based on your skills and knowledge, as well as explore careers based on job outlook, education, wages, and more. So try not to stress. Just take your time and do your homework. 
Remember to ask yourself these questions. What am I interested in doing? What am I good at? And where does the amount of money I earn fit into the equation? Watch our other Job Genius Job Profile videos to learn about hot jobs available in the trades with a career tech certification or an associate degree. This is no one size fits all decision. It's your life and your choice. So choose wisely and be confident in your choice. Good luck. The Job Genius Education Series is presented by Express Employment Professionals. Visit expresspros.com to learn more. Your future awaits. Being a job genius is in your future. Watch all the videos to get you started on your path to a great job.